Howdy y'all, I am Ice Gold, and for today's video I wanted to talk about a few of the reasons why I still play Wizard 101 and why I still like this game, even though, you know, I'm like significantly older than the target audience was originally intended for, but, you know, it's a... Uh, it's a good game. It's a good game with a lot of content. I, it's, I've really got a lot of... It, it's a game that's really close to my heart. And I have really enjoyed the game since... Since, uh... How, how old was I when I made my first game? I, I might have been eight. I might have been eight. I think it was... I think it was like early 2011 when I first made my account. And... From that day, that was the day that I became an ice man, <laughs> and um, that day, that was that was when that was when all this started. Really, I I mean, I, I kind of don't have words. This game has been honestly a big part of my life. Uh, it's been sort of a constant. It's been there just forever, and it will continue to be there forever because let's be real King's Isle is not running out of money anytime soon the game is it, it's just turned 16 and it will turn 32 I guarantee it it will definitely it definitely has another 16 years in the tank and I'm happy about that I'm happy about that uh, this this game's definitely got a long long road ahead of it and I mean with everything that's already happened it's like there are 170 levels that you can like you can level up 169 times like how about that that is that is pretty good that is that is a lot of content and um, it, it, the game has it's really come a long long way since its launch in 2008 and I mean I only regret that I wasn't there before March of, or May I think of 2011 so yeah I mean there, there were a lot of good times I think the first time I ever saw the first time I ever got into the game, I think it might have been from one of those ads that you see on, like, uh, what, like probably like a Nickelodeon website back when I was, you know, still watching SpongeBob back when it was somewhat good. I know it, after the first four seasons it sort of dropped off, but hey, you know, it was still good. I was enjoying myself. I was eight. Chill on me. <laughs> but yeah, that um, I don't regret signing up for it. I don't regret. You know, making my first character. I don't regret making my my first ice wizard. You know, and uh, hey, I mean, free membership. It's going right now, uh, and it will continue to go through the ninth. And I think I think it's really really great that they've started doing that. And that's that's another reason why I love the game today. It's like back then there would there was just all of this about about the paywall and it's like oh you know you gotta you gotta pay to go to cyclops lane or fire kind alley or some of that and it was like that was a roadblock for me as a kid i definitely remember grinding field guards in the haunted cave uh all the way up until i was level 16 before christmas 2011 my dad finally got me the sun palace bundle i can't remember exactly what it's called maybe it's just called the epic bundle <laughs> i can't remember but the Sun Palace bundle, it was like Zafaria theme, because that world had just come out. And I mean it was it was just everything to to, to little on me, bro. Like I was I was nine years old, I had a I had a bundle house with a PvP arena. I had I think the f not okay, not the first. Um, but it was one of the first uh, two person mounts. And it's just it's like the, those are memories that I will always cherish, and I made them on this game. And I just walked into a house. I don't know what's in here. Um, this is the Ratatiki. And Zoot with his unfortunate new voice actor. And, you know, Cosette. That's good. It's been a minute. Your husband is gone. I don't see him anywhere. That's, uh, that's rough, buddy. The Wiz has seriously just been a big part of my life forever. And there... Okay, so I, I played relatively consistently... I want to say through 20, 2014 or 15, somewhere in there. I remember on my like really old YouTube channel, I uploaded the the, the Snow Angel quest uh, when I when I first did it on my first ever character on my Ice Wizard, and 
Because, I mean, up to that point, I had loved the Luck of Snow Angel. It was my favorite spell in the game, and it might still be my favorite spell in the game. I'm not going to lie to you. I just love the aesthetic to it. Uh, it's, it's, it's a slapper, for sure. <laughs> and, yeah, it's like... I think it was uh, it was probably around 2015 where, you know, it's like... Because somewhere in there, somewhere in there, I lost the master password to that account. And I couldn't buy membership anymore. I mean, I was already, you know, begging my parents to use their cards on theirs, but... Um, yeah, it's it's like that was sort of that was sort of where it... That was sort of where I stopped playing for a little bit. It's like I, I ran out of crowns at the Outer Yard in Avalon, which I'm actually about to get to on my budget walkthrough. So, you know, if y'all are new, subscribe, stick around. I will definitely be getting to uh, the Outer Yard of Avalon pretty soon. And uh, I was telling Pluto once, it's like every time I would get a character into the Outer Yard in Avalon, it was, it was like a huge milestone for me personally because it's like that was that was where that was like the last paywall that I hit on my like super old account and even though there's been so many new, like free memberships and all that that have happened over these you know last few years I still have never taken that character any further because it's sort of like a time capsule you know it's like that's as far as I got and I'm happy with it and yeah <laughs> it's like I stopped asking for crowns and, uh, and those prepaid cards for my my birthday and Christmas all the time, um, and so it was like that's where that's where I sort of stopped playing for a little bit. And then what was it? It was Thanksgiving break 2017, uh, and I started playing Pirate 101 again. And I'm not gonna lie to you, uh, and Spark might not like to hear this, but Pirate, in my opinion, has always been the better game. I love Pirate to death. Uh, it's just you know I make content on Wiz, so yeah, it's like. It's like, there, there's seriously just so much content in this game. I mean, I've uploaded daily for the last uh, 51 weeks. <laughs> you know, it'll be a full year next Friday, so how about it? And, yeah, I mean, I got back into Pirate Thanksgiving break 2017. And then, uh, it's like a little bit later, a little bit after that, it was the spring of 2018 when I made this account that you're seeing today. And... You know, it's been six and a half years, and I've got all seven maxes at long last, so I think that's, uh, called myself accomplished, called myself accomplished for being that big of a whiz head. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, it's, it's not, it's not too, you know, like, uh, no life, <laughs> it's, it did take me, you know, six and a half years to, to do all this, but, yeah, I mean, I could really reminisce forever, it's like, 2018, 2019, I, I definitely... I played a lot, but I wasn't really focused too much on the type of stuff that I am today, like PvP. It's like, I tried some PvP in 2019. I did, I think, Legend Myth, and maybe a little bit of Max Ice, but mostly Legendary Myth. Um, so, there was that. And, yeah. Uh, where, 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 where do I go from there? So, yeah, 2019, I did a little bit of that. And then 2020, early 2020, it's like I was still fully, like, into the game. Uh, and that's when Blake PvP came around for the first time. It's like, I was one of his first 25 subscribers. I was, uh, like, one of the first people in his Discord. It was like, I'm an OG Blake fan, I'll be real. And, uh, he, he did inspire me a lot. And, um, maybe y'all can still see some of that bleeding through today. It's like, I do, I do, like, I miss the guy, I hope he's doing well. Maybe he'll see this. Maybe he he probably won't. Let's be real. But I hope I hope he's doing well wherever he's at now. And uh, he he got me into like really going hard on his content creation because it was that year. It was that year in 2020 when you know I I actually started up this channel. I started up this channel in July of that year, and I did you know Max Ice PVP. I did Legendary Death, which was really fun. Uh, and I still have my Warlord badge from back then. Yeah, 4th Age PvP Warlord, uh, and I was, I think, a thousand rank. This was my highest ranked character, because I was playing Legendary Death when Headless Horseman was still nuts. I probably still have Headless DCs somewhere that I can show. Yeah, yeah, these. And this is four pips, not five, like it is today. Four pips, uh, and of course, you know, pre-enchanted poisons. I don't know where those are. I probably 
glued to them at some point, but like Deadly Minotaurs, you know, it's like, it was a fun time. It was a very fun time. And yeah, it's, it's like, I had a lot of fun. And then uh, the fall update that year, it's like I, I was creating content pretty regularly up until then. Uh, and that update, it did drive me away from the game for uh, like, I won't say a while because I, it, it, it's like 2023 was when I started taking this game like serious again. And, but yeah, it was like from 2020 to 2023. I still played occasionally. I did, I did max my existing maxes back then uh, whenever a new world would drop. Like I think I got uh, my ice, my storm, my myth, and my... Fire, I want to say, maxed when Caramel was out, and then I maxed all those four and then brought my Life Wizard up to speed when Lemuria came out, and then uh, I did all the same around the time Novus came out, um, or actually it was March when I when I quested, I went for when 140 was the max and 160 was the max, and I, yeah, I mean, it, it was a fun time. You know, experiencing the new worlds and all of that. And, yeah, 2023, that was when I came back to the game and, like, really went hard in the paint on that. And, uh, it's like some, some people, some people I'm close to, or was close to, maybe, nobody know. But <laughs> there's, there's people that, like, knew me before I was on YouTube. Um, like, you know, Liam and Val. Uh, there were people like it, it's it's like Liam. I was in Liam's guild, and uh, that was back when Voracious Void was at its peak. You know, that was that was pre Dragoon AOE ban. It's like I still think that was silly, and they need to se separate PvP and raids, especially because Fairy is getting banned. I did notice that that is on the chopping block. It's like all of these are getting banned, and uh, that's gonna really throw a wrench into the Azteca raid, at, like one role specifically. But I you know. We'll be aight. We'll be aight. So, yeah, it's it's like that was that was a really fun time, and that was when I really got back into things. And then, what else was there? It's it's like things sort of things sort of chugged along as they did, and it's like I saw, you know, I saw Liam doing good on YouTube. He had like maybe 3K, 3 K, three point five, maybe closer to four. And then I was like, you know what? Uh, it, it, cause I, I had helped Liam with like recording and streaming settings before. It's like his, his videos would still like trash if it wasn't for me. I'm just going to say that outright. But as time passed, as time passed, I was like, you know what? I think I want to get back into PvP. I want to see what's new about the game in 2023. And that's what I did. I got prepared and it took me very, a very long time. And my first breakout video that really blew me up was when I was talking about the PvP barrier or entry. Maybe I need to remake that at some point. I know I did back in February or whenever, but I, it, it, it could it could be done again today. I'll be real. It really could be done again today. But yeah, it, it's like then, then it's like October was when I came back to, to PvP. And it's like September of that year. Uh, it's like I was saying, almost a year ago. Uh, was when I actually like came back to YouTube and yeah it's like September uh, I came back October I got back into peeve and it's sort of just been that way ever since I've made some really great memories with this YouTube channel I'm glad that it's done well I'm closing in on 3,000 subscribers as we speak and I like doing it it's it's like I've, I've definitely I'm definitely on some like time constraints I have much less time these days than, than I used to but I'm still dedicated. I still want to keep uploading daily. I have not missed an upload in 2024 because there really is that much content in the game. It's like I can still, it's like I'm still kicking, you know. It's like I've still got ideas, um, like uh, things that I can do in Wiz. It's like there's there's just a lot of content, and I'm really happy about that. So, you know, chalk that up as another reason why I love Wiz. So, I mean, it, it ain't hard to tell. It ain't hard to tell. It's like, here we are, you know, September of 2024. I've made some great memories on this game. And it's it's really just been a big part of my life. I could never hate this game. There are times when I there are times when I feel like, you know, there are things that certainly need to be tweaked. There are times I feel like I'm not being listened to by the devs. Uh, but 
all in all, this game has been a big part of my life. I would not be who I am today without it, and I'm happy I played Wizard 101. I am happy that, you know, I've I've put time into this game as much as I have. <laughs> it's like as been and as much money, although, you know, fortunately I've been playing more on a budget lately. I'll be real, but um, that's totally fine, and I'm just happy that I have played this game in my lifetime. It's been really great. It's it's just been a great experience, and you know what? I I know that this game has like another 16 years in it and I'm excited to see what happens and oh, let me tell you the 15 year the, that you guys remember that video that they dropped for the 15 year anniversary last year where it was like it's like two people they met on Wiz and then like later later on it's like they started a family and they, they were playing Wiz with their kid it's like that's where I want to be <laughs> that's where I want to be it's going to sound corny but it's like this game, it's got a lot of life left, and it's it can definitely persist. And look, if I make it that far, I, <laughs> I like look. Man, I mean, enjoying this game, like it it absolutely can, like uh, go across generations. I would. This game means that much to me. <laughs> like I'll say that outright, it really does, and that's. There's many more memories to be made in Wiz, and I'm happy about that, and I cannot sing its praises enough. It's it's like I was originally intending this to be like a shorter 8 minute, maybe 9 type video, but here I am, 16 minutes and 51 seconds recording, and yeah, yeah, I mean, I just don't, <laughs> I, I can't really put it in too short of a manner how much this game has meant to me and why I'm happy to still play it and why I'm glad that I make content on it. It's like I've also accomplished some good things <laughs> when I've been making content on this game. It's like myself alongside um, the community, we we got Frost Giant buffed. We did that. We did that. And I am really happy about that and I just want to say thank you all to everybody. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting all sentimental. I probably will in a week when when it comes time for uh, for the for the one year video. I've got something planned for that. But for the time being, thank y'all for watching. I've been Ice Gold. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a video comments for the algorithm. My Discord is down in the description if you want to chat with me some more. And I will see y'all later.